All right, so on this one, we are gonna create a method for our comment child serializer. That is all of the comments that are related to the parent comment. So we have our parent comment, and then we wanna have our child comments. So that is what we're gonna be doing here. And to do this, we are gonna create a couple new comment serializers. One is for the detail view, and one is for the, the child comment. So comment child serializer is what we're gonna be calling it, and then the other one is comment detail serializer. Um, so for the comment child serializer, we are just gonna leave it as this, um, with the exception I definitely don't want the parent in there because I don't need it anymore. Um, and then really all I need is the ID and possibly when it was updated. So I'm gonna use ID, content, and updated. And of course it's going off of the updated field, which if we take a look at our model, we have a timestamp field. So we're actually gonna just use the timestamp instead of updated. Go back in there, so timestamp, okay. So now that we've got this child comment serializer in our comment detail serializer, we can actually create something in here called child or children or realistically replies because that's what it is. And we're gonna do serializer method field here and we're gonna put replies down here. And this one we don't need parent because the comment detail is going to ensure that we are working off of the um, actual comments that are the parents. They're not, they're not actually have children. So, um, and then here we're gonna do define get reply, get replies, excuse me, and it's gonna say self and object. And we'll say if object dot is parent, then we're gonna return the child, the comment child serializer. And this is basically saying, hey, let's use this serializer and we're gonna do object.children and we'll say many equals to true and then dot data. Otherwise we'll return none. Okay, so we wanna make sure that this children, this call right here is actually in our model. So in our comment models, we see that children is this right here. So what we're seeing is it's gonna return a query set. So in our serializer, we're taking that query set data, we're making sure that it says many, and then we're serializing it, and that's what we're returning. So that's what those replies will be. Um, so let's go ahead and use this comment detail serializer inside of our uh, view for comment detail and comment detail serializer. The query set is definitely gonna be that parent is uh, not empty. So if we look in our all call, we already see that filtering it, it already filters out ones that um, have a parent, right? So if parent equals to none, that those are all. So that all call is already doing that for us. So in our view for the detail, the detail view will only work for the parent comments at this point. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and check it out in our comments. Let's make sure the server is running. And we've got comment detailed serializer is not defined, which should make sense because we didn't actually import it. So let's go ahead and import it. And now we've got that. We refresh in here, we've got comments, and I'm just gonna go to ID of one. Click on one and boom, we get a little error. Uh, so keyword argument, this is something that hopefully if you did experience it, you were able to solve it very easily. Of course, in the URLs, we need to change ID to PK, or inside of our view, we need to change our lookup field to ID. It's either one, uh, but of course, by default, the lookup field is primary key. We refresh that and now what we see here is that original comment and then the replies. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Um, this timestamp stuff, we probably want it on the comment detail itself too. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the comment detail serializer. We refresh in here and now that's what we see. We see our replies, we see our timestamp, we see everything that's related uh, to the comment detail itself. This is pretty good. Um, as far as the comment list is concerned, if we go back into comments, Notice it's not showing the replies. Um, so what we could do is in there, the comment itself, so let's actually see the view that's doing that list. Um, and we have the comment serializer. So in here, what we could do is we could just get the count. So we'll say replies or reply count, or I'll just say replies equals to again, a serializer method field. And then we'll say define get replies Actually, let's call it reply count, just to leave it as um, being a little bit more consistent as to what it should be and not leaving out the confusion. 
um, and also being very verbose. Reply count is a lot more verbose than just reply. And, and if you said replies, it would sound like, oh, the actual per replies themselves. So we're gonna do self and object, and we're going to say if object is parent, and it should be, but if we're just putting in that clause just in case, we're gonna return object.children.count. Otherwise, we'll just return zero. Um, we could say none, but I'm just gonna say zero, because if, if there are zero, then zero. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and add this into our stuff. And again, you might want the timestamp in here. Um, that's just kind of up to you. We refresh and we see the reply count. Again, those replies aren't showing up, but it is definitely there. Since we do have a reply count on the list, we might as well add that reply count in the detail as well, um, just to have another level of interaction for our API. Um, it's just one of those things that isn't required, but it is something that will make making our, our clients or the front end things uh, a little bit easier to do. All right, so that's replies using the comment detail serializer and also just using a query set that is related directly to a model. So um, this in particular, you can use with other kinds of query sets, right? So it doesn't have to be this, like a, a, an actual instance method. It could be a query set that you use otherwise that might be related to that particular um, model. So going back in here, th the object.children, this could be any sort of query set, right? So it could be comment dot objects dot all. Um, it could be that, it could be that simple, or you could be using a completely different model here that may be somewhat related, and that's how you would be able to show it. Um, all right, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.